I talk about a girl who at the age of 16 had been around more than a girl over 30. That was unusual in its day. Today it's the norm. <laughs> Where are we heading? Why are we heading there? And who is it that's telling us this is cool? Uh, we don't want to go back to puritanical. We've learned a lot. There's a mid-range path in here. There's a course that we're supposed to hoe. And, uh, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. I'm just saying that, uh, like in a new design, I don't know how it should be. I just know that this ain't the way it's supposed to be right now. <coughs> Well, I was uh, 19 years old. I was signed to Screen Gems Music, the home of Carol King and Jerry Goffin, Barry Mann, Cynthia Wilde. They were all in a New York office. I was on the West Coast office, which was the dead letter office. <laughs> <laughs> well, they signed me as a young kid, Al Nevins, signed me at uh, 15 years of age and uh, gave me $10 a week. And basically, it wasn't about the money. It was just to be able to keep my parents off my back so that they didn't have to go to pharmacy school. <laughs> yeah. I could tell you stories about how I met Elvis when I was 12, and he taught me how to play guitar, the first person who gave me a guitar lesson. i tell you how I started with the Beatles, and the Rolling Stones, and the Birds, and the Bees, and uh, I, could tell you about, I could tell you about all these wonderful, incredibly talented people, but they all have one thing in common, an amazing thing in common, and that Nobody feels like they have any legitimacy. Mm. Nobody. Mm. They just don't give it to you. And if they give it to you in spades, it, it corrupts you. There is also a fine line. But I worked with them all, and I got to tell you that none of them ever felt legitimate. Mm. There was one guy in the world right now who's sitting in Alabama, and he's got a big paunch stomach, and he's mm. drinking beer, and he's watching Jerry Springer, and he's cursing the Jews, and he's cursing women, and he's cursing Hispanics and he's cursing Asians and he's the guy everyone wants their vote. Uh, <laughs> there's one guy who writes for the New York Times and he declares who's legitimate and who's not. And 50, 60 years of an artist's life can go by <coughs> and they'll never tell you you're any good. You can't go by them. You have to go by what's inside you. Hmm. And the better you are, the more they'll shun you. Because this is a uh, this is a world of making music and money, and sometimes the two don't go together. Sometimes they do. It's wonderful when it does. I wrote a song at 19, and it was different than any song I had been writing, which was "Tell 'Em I'm Surfing" and "Kick That Little Foot, Sally Ann." I was, I was supposed to be the new Goffin and King. I was uh, supposed to write follow-ups to all the big all the big songs, and I learned my craft from writing follow-ups. But uh, one day, uh, an angel came to me, and she said, take out a piece of paper. Take out five pieces of paper. You're going to write five songs tonight. And this was the first song. It took eight hours. The Eastern world, it is exploded. Violence flaring, there's bullets loading. They are old enough to kill, but not for voting. You say you don't believe in war, well, what's that gun you told her? And even the Jordan River, his body is floating. But you tell me over and over and over again, my friend. You don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. Well, I know you can understand what I'm trying to say. Can't you feel the fear I've been feeling today? I said, Lord, if the buttons are pushed, there'll be no running away. And there'll be no one to save. The world in a grave, he said. Take a look around you, boy. 
If it scares you, boy, come on and tell me. Over and over and over again, my friend. You don't believe we're on the edge of destruction. <coughs> so mad it feels like coagulating I'm just sitting here and I've been contemplating you know they can't twist the truth because it knows no regulation like a handful of senators that won't pass legislation <laughs> when marches alone will never bring integration when human respect is disintegrating and Lord, this whole crazy world It's just too frustrating But you tell me Over and over and over again My friend Oh, you don't believe We're on the eve of destruction Well, I think of all the hate I hear coming from Red China then I take a look around to some Alabama. Yeah, you may leave here four days in space. Yeah, but when you return, it's the same damn place. There's the pounding of the drums. There's the pride and disgrace. You can bury a dead, but don't dare leave a trace. I hate your next door neighbor. Papa, don't forget to say grace and take me over. 